Hello, this is Jim Chadwell, Superintendent of Eagle Mountain Saginaw ISD. I'm here today to answer questions regarding the November 7th, 2023 bond election. I've received a number of questions regarding the tax rate, specifically the difference in the tax rate in the M&O portion and the INS side of it. The tax rate is made up of these two parts. The M&O is the maintenance and operation portion that has everything to do with salaries and with utilities and everything it takes to run a school district. On the debt service side, our INS or interest and sinking fund side, that is the part that pays for bonds. So anytime a bond is passed and we, our bond election is passed and the district goes out and sells bonds, which they will do when it's in a timely manner to um, build, a, build a building, um, they will then um, issue that debt. And at the time they issue that debt, um, we will consider if there needs to be any kind of tax rate increase in order to pay for that debt. That doesn't always occur. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Depending upon the growth in property values in our area, it may not be necessary. But that interest and sinking fund portion um, acts independently. The school board looks at both of those rates as they consider what the overall tax rate needs to be for the school district every August. And then once they set that rate, those again work independently. Uh, what people do not realize is the overall tax rate in the school district has actually gone down since 2017 by about, by about 30 cents. In 2017, it was $1.54, <clears throat> and in 2023 24, it was $1.24720. And in fact, this past year, um, in just this past year, it has decreased by 18.74 cents. These decreases are sometimes not seen because of the increase in property values of your home. So people may say, well, that doesn't make sense because I'm paying more in taxes. And you are not because the rate's gone up or even maintained. It's because of the fact that the properties have actually gone up. This will be the first year for many people that their 2003, 2000, um, or 2023 taxes will actually go down because of the change in the homestead exemption. On the November ballot will also be a consideration to change the homestead exemption from $40,000 to $100,000. Here's how this works. If you have a $200,000 house and you currently receive the $40,000 homestead exemption, you only pay for values up to $160,000 in taxes. If you, if this is passed and the $200,000 home goes to $100,000, then you will pay taxes on the evaluation of a $100,000 house. And so for many, this decrease will, will show a decrease in your overall property taxes for this year. I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, please feel free to go to our website, click on Let's Talk and submit a question. We'll be happy to answer that question, add those to our frequently asked questions, and be able to assist in any way. Thank you very much.